<laughs> you mentioned that when you were single and mingling, uh, that you had one night stands and casual yeah. sex. I had my fair share of one night stands. Uh, sure. Let's trade some stories. Um, I, I'll tell you my first one. Um, Ooh, my, like I w- first one night stand? Yes. Um, yeah, about 10 years ago, I, um, it was my first one night stand and I had like, like my dad had just died. So I was like, really like care oh, less shit. who I was. Fuck- <laughs> yeah. I was like on one. Right. And I had to work in, um, in Phoenix. I was opening for Felipe Esparza actually. And, um, Ooh. yeah. And so, um, my mom joined me on the trip. and so. Whatever, whatever. I'm doing the shows. I'm killing it. She doesn't come to one of the shows, whatever. So I end up getting kind of hammered. And then um, I, I'm i just like walking around near the hotel because, you know, downtown Phoenix, it's, you know, it's like a college area. So it's just, it's hopping and mm-hmm. there's a lot to do. You could literally walk around and bar hop. I went to it. school at Arizona State. Oh, you so, did? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, um, or maybe that's not cool. I don't know. And so, <laughs> oh my God, this story is so bad. My... I'm so drunk that I end up puking in the parking lot. Hot. I remember my dad has passed away. Like, I'm going through it, you know, whatever, whatever. And I was just like, whatever. And I just puke. And some guy's like, hey, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm totally fine. And I look up. And it's like this hot guy. And I was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> and um, we what just, are you doing? yeah. And we proceed to start making out. Mm-hmm. And girl, it's nasty. And, um, and then he's like, he's like, where are you staying? I was like, oh, I'm in this hotel right here. And he's like, let's go in there. And I was like, no, I can't, I can't go in there. And he's like, why not? And I was like, oh, my, uh, my best friend is in there. <laughs> and he goes, and your best friend is going to care. I was like, oh yeah, my best friend is definitely going to care. <laughs> um, uh, cause you know, it wasn't my best friend. It was my mother. And so, um, <laughs> and so. Why didn't uh, you say it was your mom? I think I was like embarrassed a little bit. <laughs> I, I really, you know, because I look back and I'm like, yeah, why didn't I say it was my mom? But I definitely think I was embarrassed. Um, I also was like, I just threw up. Every, I just didn't want, I guess I just didn't want him thinking like, you know, my mom paid for the room or, you know, or I don't know. I just didn't. I was just like, nah, let's just fuck outside. So we <laughs> found a spot behind, I don't know, some electric box, some big oversized electric box. And he just plowed me right there. And um, it was actually really painful in the sense that like my hip bones were hitting this electrical box you know like (laughs) and um yeah I mean I'm just I'm just glad he was uh coherent enough to find some protection and uh he like and that's the good thing about a college town he just went around asking you have a condom do you have a condom do you (laughs) it was awesome we we love a responsible queen well and uh, yeah responsible one night stand is always nice so that that was my first one and that one was um, very weird. Wow. Have yeah. you had a lot of one night stands? Um, I mean, I've, I don't know about a lot. I don't know what constitutes a lot. Yeah, what, what's uh, like subjective a lot? <laughs> I don't know what a lot is. Cause it's like, how old are you? What, how long have you been exactly, having one night Exactly. Right. Stand? Like you if I'm what? 60, I have, have had a lot. I hope, I hope <laughs> you've had a lot. I think I've had a fair share. Yeah. I think, um, the other one I wanted to share was, um, this, uh, a security guard at a, a comedy club. He was hot. Oh, woo-woo. And I was like, ooh, he's big, you know, like it'll be fun. And he was really cute. So I just, I did the thing that I never do, which is like, I just gave him my hotel key. And I was like, mm, damn, okay. that's And ball. I left. I know. I felt so freaking <laughs> cool. And then I slide him that. And then it, within, I don't even know, 30, 45 minutes, he showed up. Damn, he's thirsty. I know it was great. And, 30 um, minutes. It, it, it was. didn't even end. He was like, bro, can you, can you watch for me? Can you watch it the door? It was great. It was perfect. And then um, he, we tried and he basically broke down and started um, crying about his ex and how much he missed her. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, you got to oh, go, bro. Oh. It's time for you to leave. I am not a therapist. <laughs> Well, in a way, your energy was therapeutic. Oh, I hate that. I hate <laughs> my energy is therapeutic and I just want some dick. Ugh. Ugh. I know, right? Yeah. It's so interesting how like there there's a whole group of guys that think women are like non-sexual beings. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, have you met my friends? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> We're nasty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> oh, I have had a lot. Um, I would say one of them that 
that I like I like telling my friends this story and and sometimes my friends just love it so much they will like recite the story without right, me right, like right, telling right, other right. people yeah. I know this girl <laughs> who my story yeah. <laughs> like, don't tell other people now I mean like a random professor at like Cal Poly Pomona and he's like oh I know you oh, I know I you heard. want a nice damn oh, story so funny because <laughs> I'm a professor so like mo- a lot of my friends are professors and it's like professors are really freaky like I was gonna say you guys gotta be yeah, we're, you have to we're, be you know we seem uptight we're really we're really freaky no but those anyways, are the most freaky people usually the uptight people right okay that's a correct observation i would say so i was driving um and i was driving down um i think it was sunset and uh i stopped at the stoplight and this guy next to me right kept like moving his arms oh that's so uh, cute and then I'm like, ooh, like I was just singing, dancing, you know, always. And so I turn, I turn to the side, and I'm like, what? You know, like kind of mouthing, like what? And then he's doing the roll down the window. Yeah, yeah. So I did, um, and I'm like, what? And he's like, <laughs> you're so, like, you're so pretty. Um, can I take you out? Uh, and I'm like. Uh yeah, if you can race me to the next light. Oh. <laughs> and so we did and like you know, I I was so he was like on the left lane to turn left, right? So he has to like get out of that. Sure, sure. I was on the straight lane so I went straight. So I went I would say I had like 5 solid seconds in front of him, right? Oh wow. He like raced. All oh, yeah, of this I is did. dangerous. Children, if you're listening, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's the furious over here. The fast and the curious. <laughs> Literally. So then he like caught up to me. Next slide, he's next to me on the other side. Mm-hmm. Right. And I'm like, okay, like, you know, here's here's my Instagram. And so like I yelled my Instagram. And he's like, I'm I'm heading to a date right now. Like, I'm going to dinner. I'm taking a girl out. I'm like, oh that's fine. God. I'm going to a rooftop with my friends. Like, I'll see you later. So afterwards, like you know, I was on the rooftop having a great time with my girls. Like he apparently went on a date. It was not the kind of date that he was looking for. So sure. he was like, "Hey, can I come join you?" Yeah, and I'm I like, mean, "No." You just ra- challenge him to a race. Of course, he's like, "That girl's way cooler than whatever is going on over here." <laughs> oh, I know, but I bet that girl was so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Anyways. look, I'm not. You know, well, You're look, like, he, bitch, he, I don't he know. was a man on a mission. That was a man on a mission. He knew what exactly. He wanted. Yeah. So he was like, "Okay, I'm done." It was like literally 45 minutes later. Uh, and I'm like, okay, I'm with my friend, so no, like you can't join. Yeah. So he's like, it's okay, I'll wait in the parking lot. Good for you, girl. I love <laughs> it. We should always put your homegirls over everybody. 100%. 100%. Yeah. I'm with you I on that. I don't know why, like, a lot of people don't think I'm a girl's girl. Like, I think it's based on my, like, social media. Like, people don't think I'm a girl's girl, but I'm a total, I'm a 110% yeah. girl's girl. Girls yeah, me first. too. Yeah, girls first uh, always. I mean, some so- of the most, some of the most um, masculine women and ag- assertive, aggressive women, I'll say that are girls girls we are I'm, because... i am masculine aggressive and assertive yeah <laughs> i know because right? we are we are we're girls girls and that, like that's why we're kind of that way because we're like no 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 we, we yeah. got this don't even trip 100 percent. so i was like okay like he's like okay i'll wait in the parking lot he waited in the parking lot good okay so this i'm like okay all right i'm and i'm tipsy right and tipsy and horny yeah, so yeah. Oh God, that's why he waited. How are you going to say you were on the rooftop with your girls? He knows what's going down. You just... Literally an hour and a half later. I love it. I, he was there. Like, he w- he waited at my car. And, you know, I got there. And my first question, and I was tipsy. So, okay, don't, like, quote me on this. But, like, I asked something along the line of, like, you got checked recently? <laughs> something like that. <laughs> along that line. But probably a lot, like, cuter. Uh, that's what you want to believe yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> like have you have to believe check, that you, you have to check recently that. and he's like yeah like i'm all good um and i said okay come here so we started making out we started kissing oh that's and hot literally at this parking lot but it was really dark and i parked like way back right so like i, I was just leaning like on my car and then he like lifted up my dress and then i was like no 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 fucking so he's like what <laughs> he's like girl like you you want all of these but not like the dick i'm like no no fucking like i'm i'm not there tonight um but i want you to finger me oh God, i love, love fingering. getting fingered yeah oh, that's I do. interesting yeah so it's the first porn i watched i demanded that he fingered me he happily fingered me and yeah, he was so he so good he was so so good at fingering i came like p- 
piss all squirt it all over wow. his hand. He's like, oh, this is so hot. I really want to fuck you. I'm like, you can't. Oh wow. Later. You never saw him again? Oh, I <laughs> Oh. I was like, I can't because I'm seeing someone. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, so yeah, that was the end of the story. But yeah, he he was really good at fingering and we like raced and I was like really, I love it. Yeah, really, that's really, really cool. It's that's one fun. of the, I would say, like top 10 sex stories for me. Thanks for listening. This was, this was Love Bites. Love Bites. By Dr. Tara. Follow Dr. Tara on social media at lovebites.co. Have an orgasmic day.